And now it's time for the catch. Normally, the catch takes you around the Great Lakes to hear from reporters about issues they're covering. But this month, we're sticking with our theme and letting you know about citizen science projects around the region. SciStarter creates a framework for citizen science to take place and for the collected data to be used by members of the scientific community. The organization's founder, Darlene Cavalier, says there are a lot of opportunities for people to get involved. It's important to note that citizen science is as broad as science is. So basically from, we say, astronomy to zoology, that's the range of projects that are in SciStarter. And some of my favorites, or ones that really relate, and I think your audience will be excited about, are Stream Selfie, iNaturalist, and a Mosquito Habitat Mapper. Most of our drinking water comes through streams, so it's important for scientists to keep track of the health of those bodies of water. Darlene says Stream Selfie is a simple and fun way for people to get involved in building a national map of streams. Take a selfie of yourself or your dog. You'll see some interesting creative ways that people are participating in this. As long as the stream is in the picture and that automatically gets information from your cell phone that maps that location so you don't have to do much more than that except answer a couple of additional questions that tell scientists and others about the health of that water. iNaturalist is another project that involves taking pictures of the natural world and sharing those photos with scientists and other naturalists. iNaturalist software and online community can help you identify what plant and animal life you're looking at. The most important thing about iNaturalist to remember is you don't have to know what you're doing. Upload images. You can take a guess. The, the crowd will help. Um, make sure that your image is identified as the right species, but also thousands of scientists use the data from iNaturalist. And this is all about monitoring biodiversity. Looking for population changes in plants and animals is extremely important. And then there's a project for mapping mosquito habitats, which helps support data from satellites and computer models about the outbreak and spread of diseases. So the Mosquito Mapper is a way to sort of identify potential or real habitats where mosquito larvae are. And this is important because these breed diseases. You don't want to kill all the mosquitoes that you see because they're actually important food sources for other insects. But some will produce Zika, for example. These three projects are all SciStarter affiliates, which means you can track your participation across these and other citizen science projects that SciStarter supports. Darlene says affiliate projects also offer additional ways to get involved. Check your local library where you can look at SciStarter.org forward slash library hyphen locations, and you can find libraries that offer kits for these projects. You don't need instruments other than the apps that I mentioned or special tools, but they do provide everything that you need to make your experience just a wonderful one and to help make sure that your data is credible so scientists can use it. At Great Lakes Now, we aim to cover the Great Lakes region and the people who live here, like you. Please follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our newsletter at greatlakesnow.org.